Welcome back. Matthias came hello. in to say hello. I'm just kind of briefly here today and then I am going, I told you to go do a mock jewelry this afternoon, which I'm actually kind of excited about. <laughs> and look at this amazing, beautiful creation that you brought. Can you tell me about it? It is a Taurus. Yeah. Um, you can kind of feel it. I mean, I, yeah. It's That's very impressive. powerful symbol. Yeah, very I love powerful. that. It's I love when that. I look at this, I see a being. I see like a conscious living. Wow. I see like the con like kind of mm. omnipresent. You know, kind of. Well, it's a beautiful piece, and so yeah. you got the kit you said from Twisted Sage, and yeah. you put it together. Yeah. Wow, it's really gorgeous. Huh? Yeah. I love it. Yeah. Well, that's going to just open up the portals to the other realms, right? <laughs> is that what we're at? The goal is the good portals. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's... it's Power portals, yeah. It's still, like, alchemizing, I guess. I alchemizing. Know. And when did you get this? I love I it. I got this, like, two weeks ago. And so what are you going to do with it? Well, it's a great it? it's a great wall mount. Okay, But it yeah. creates a field about... It creates a terradial field. Okay. So about the size of a, of uh -huh. a home. Yeah. Um, so it's just great to have in my space um, yeah. and when I created this I was like attuned to it so it's kind of like the pattern it's in my field I mean I got you I got yeah, you this, I, from I, the, I mean yeah well it's sacred geometry right so there's that and then that's the copper conduit so there's that part mm -hmm. and it, is it would we call that a flower of life um I believe this is the seed of life. Okay, yes. And then part. together it creates the the Taurus. Okay. And that's oh, what this is. It's a Taurus. Wow, that's so pretty. Yeah. I love it. Thank you for bringing that in and yeah. sharing today. Any other final words or how are you doing? So we, last time we talked about anger. Yeah. I just um, had a really powerful, potent session with my therapist where I was like venting a whole lot of stuff. and Awesome. Purging and she helped me through some stuff. What about you? How are you um, walking with anger these days or peace or grace or whatever your word of the week is? Presents. Presents. That's a good one. <laughs> well, like, yeah. I I know that's like it's always like being present and that's a beautiful gift, but really... I was also thinking of it in the terms of like being emotionally available to the moment. Mm. To whatever is arising, yeah. right? So that's what yeah. presence in its highest, purest form is, is emotional availability, yeah. which leads us to all those other fun buzzwords like vulnerability and intimacy and connection yeah. and so I feel like you and I have a natural connection like that. We can just chat and talk and be ourselves, which is fun. So yep. I hope that uh, you guys out there are finding that two kindreds come in all shapes, sizes, walks of life, and to open up to the other realms and how you're going to call in the interdimensional beings, of course, uh, for our highest and best and putting that that on there that uh, we don't want to just be willy-nilly opening up portals, right? <laughs> it's like playing with a Ouija board. But that is looks like it's potent and it looks like it's for true power, what I would call. Hmm. So you've had some experiences with it, I'm sure, huh? Um, <clears throat> more, I mean, this is just, and the, the other thing, you don't need the tools. Like, yeah. these are just the physical. Yeah. And the, the higher dimension, the, the power and potency of these tools are their their soul frequencies they're like they're higher dimensional templates you know yeah um yeah <laughs> that's good i like it that makes yeah. sense to me i yeah. get it well yeah. thank you any other final words of wisdom or any epiphanies um, you've been having lately not to put you on the spot but. yeah i guess i i have just been feeling like i don't really like i like i'm just here to learn like i don't know like i'm just I'm learning that. and I'm learning. That's good. And that's, yeah. that's very humble and very beautiful. It allows you to go into spaces too without attachment to when you yes. consider to learn. Yeah, so being more in flow and available to the moment and then using our power tools, but again, knowing that that's really... Reflection. It's what? Reflection. A reflection yeah. of like what we already do inside ourselves. And yeah. So it's the same for me. Like I had a shaman. He said, you don't really need ayahuasca. Ayahuasca is going to bring you to weird places and he said like people are using ayahuasca to get to where you're already naturally at i was like oh thanks <laughs> that's an ego thing but it was kind of like these are tools even psychedelics can be tools mm -hmm. and really it's our consciousness that has the true magic and power would you agree yeah well i mean the, what they're kind of doing is they're kind of just we have like these like personas and these things we kind of build up to i mean a lot of times it's to protect ourselves and in right. and, and these forms but yeah, there's just, we already are that which we seek and, and that's just, yeah. yeah. 
but they can help they, they can help they can if you need that if you feel called to that yes you know? so. well i love what you did here i think i, I really really love that thank you, thank you for sharing mm -hmm. and thank you for stopping by today i appreciate yeah. you yeah. have an awesome day